How you doing? Last video we made rocket stoves out of concrete block and brick. This video I want to try and make an improved version of the brick one using, well, brick and tin cans. Let's try this, see what happens. Here's my idea. Build a regular rocket stove. Well, I mean, like the one we built. I'll link to that video at the end of the show here. And then incorporate a tin can flue like that in within the brick. What do you think? So we want a 45 degree angle going across the can. And do that for a second can as well. Okay, don't do what I just did, and it still smells like dog food. Um, cut the, the top of the can needs to stay as a intact rim, but um, I'm kind of working through this with you, so your ideas are valuable. Please comment and let me know. All right, um, let's do this again. So this is what you want. You want it to cut down, saving the, top of the can like that. We're gonna do two different modifications or hacks to our rocket stove, so we're gonna do one then the other. So stick around to the end. We'll see which one's better. Okay. Okay. I'm getting better at cutting the angle. I mean, it's my third it's number two, number three. My idea here is that this will fit into this. I'm hoping by friction, like that. I thought about cutting some little tabs using self-tapping screws, but I think for our prototype, that'll work. I can, you put these on, you can't hear anything and it just feels so weird. I tried putting a screw in here. Self-tapping screw. I think we're just gonna go with the friction fit because this is all about, hey, let's try this. See what happens. And this is gonna be one of those. Man, does that smell like dog food. But anyway, this, if, if, if I really cram this in, it'll sit and then I think once we get it in the brick, it'll, um, well, it'll do something, we'll find out. So my idea here was our right angle piece would sit here and then this would be in the front but what I noticed is if I put a brick across here it um this is too high so could you could you kind of bend that Well, that might work. So I'm gonna cut some little flanges in here, kind of like a, a heating duct. And I'm gonna press this in. So I cut the, the hard edge off of that. Oh, look. Oh, that went, that kind of went in. Oh.
Nice. So this really is a, hey, let's try this and see what happens. This is not uh, perfect. This is what I call the imperfect. And I just wanna see if this works. I was thinking about this, had a little light bulb moment. Last can. I mean, one of my mantras is make, break, repair, repeat. So we're gonna build this and see what happens. And I think we should build some more because I know you're already talking back to the video about what I should do to improve this. So you'll let me know in the comments. But let's uh, fire it up. So I've been running in and out of the house getting stuff for this project. And a couple of knuckleheads here. Are, I have them in the house and they keep on wanting to come out. So here you go. This is Spike. This is Andy. Um, they're my helpers usually, but since we're dealing with fire, put them back in the house, okay? You wanna go back inside? That was a no. What is that? Oh, oh. what was that? Nicely burning. Not bad. You hear that? Success, yeah. Improvements, yeah. Let me know, all right? Meanwhile, so in phase one, our combustion chamber, is that the word? Um, was what, two inches by three inches here. Hard to get things in. And I've seen some other rocket stoves where there's a little space that allows air underneath, right? So here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna have wire screening here and then um, a higher chamber, and then we'll fire it up and see what happens. And what do we got to lose? It's raining out, it's cold, fire is fun. So when I was a kid, we would go catch crayfish in the local quarry, which they turned into a park. And then we would make a campfire in the backyard and boil crawfish in a tin can over a wood fire. And this kind of reminds me of that, you know, and I'm a little older now and I actually have um, a gas stove inside, but still, I like the idea of doing stuff for yourself. Um, I think just having life skills like that, that can apply to a lot of stuff. So, um, I ran out of, it rained here, so there's no sticks that aren't wet, that are wet, they're all wet. So I whacked up a, split up a pallet, piece of pallet wood here. So let's see what happens here. Fingers crossed. Okay, that, that started up right away. Oh, wow. <laughs> Noticeable improvement there. Should I shove some more paper in there, you think? Sure, why not, Eric? Look at that. So that is much, it's taller and it has more air coming in the bottom. <laughs> wow. I'm thinking of some improvements. I want you to let me know your improvements in the comments, but why don't you and I also spend some more time together? More rocket stove videos are floating right here. You and me, more flame right there. Let's go.